Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Channel here. Today, I'm going to just be doing a short video on how to sharpen your axe or tomahawk. Now, the way I do an axe or tomahawk... My dog is trying to get in the video here. But, the way I do an axe or a tomahawk is a little different than what I've seen other people do and I think it's pretty easy so I'm going to show you guys my process alright so I'm going to show you guys what all you need obviously you need your axe or tomahawk or whatever you're going to do then you're going to need your sharpening stone and of course there's a few different ways you can do this there's probably a hundred different ways you can do this really but this is the way I'm doing it I like these uh, Baranox I think it's pronounced axe pucks I think they work great and I also got a leather straw it's my little homemade sheet and I got a little tub of water so we'll get started on this alright so this is just a quick little side note the reason why I like using an axe puck over like say like some of my diamond stones is because if I'm using say my diamond stone as I'm trying to sharpen the axe it's constantly I got the handle moving in my way and so I'm like constantly trying to move it versus this way I'm about to show you you move the stone around the axe instead of vice versa alright so now that I got everything set up I'm just gonna kinda hold my axe straight up and I'm gonna have obviously the blade towards me the handle going away and I'm gonna take my puck here just gonna get it wet now sometimes I'll just literally spit on these but for purpose of video and such and just ease I will utilize just a little tub of water I'm just gonna go in small circles along the edge of my tomahawk now the tomahawk I'm sharpening here is the cold steel Norse Hawk alright so I'm going to show you guys up close a little bit basically I'm going to take my puck and I'm going to get it right up to my edge here and basically just follow the angle of the edge I'm not really trying to reprofile the edge I'm just trying to sharpen it now if you had to reprofile you might get you like a more coarser puck and do some more work the main thing is is just trying to maintain the same angle and do the exact same thing on both sides so I'll go kind of two strokes doing these small circles on both edges So as you see, I'm basically getting the puck where it's right flush with the edge and I'm just following the edge essentially with the puck. Alright, so I've worked on this for a little while. I got pretty decent edge on there just with the stone it's just enough to slice skin but as you can tell it's still kind of a rough edge now there is some debate on how sharp you actually want an axe some people will say you want just kind of like 
a rough utility edge. Some people, you know, there's all kinds of different debates. I generally find that with just a decent axe head, which, you know, these cold steels are just 1055 carbon steel, but even with them, I find that even with like a hair shaving edge that I don't really have much problem. So I'm going to take my leather strop and I'm going to basically do the same thing, but instead of going in circles, I'm just going to be doing in swipes all along the edge. This part is probably the more tedious, more strenuous part here. Just Now some people would probably say, okay, well, a uh, leather, like a leather belt strop would probably work better for this. Probably would, probably may not. I don't know. I don't have one. This is the leather strop I have, so this is the one I'm using. I'm just going to do the same thing, just go up and back down each edge. If I do this long enough, edge will literally be mere polished. Alright, so I've been working on this cold steel tomahawk for a little while now. Uh, I did, once I started on the leather strop, I did about 20 or so strokes per edge. So that's about a minute per edge, or per stroke, I should say. And so about 20 30 minutes. And I got this thing, as you can see, borderline mirror polished. I mean, I don't think you'll ever get it just perfect unless if you just decide to dedicate hours and hours and hours. I don't think all that's that necessary on a tomahawk head that I'm going to be smacking around hard. But we'll just show you guys. Now, the reason why I'm using my leg is because I have already shaved all the arm hair off of me, testing knives and stuff. But... As you see, this thing, for, you know, Cold Steel Drop Forge 55, car or 1055 carbon steel axe head is shaving hair off my leg. So, you know, for you ladies out there, I guess you can save a lot of money. You stop buying razor heads and buy a Cold Steel Norse Hawk and shave your legs, right? All right, so that was my uh, quick little, quick and easy little tutorial on how at least I sharpen an axe. Now, I'm not going to say that this is the be-all, know-all, all that. There's probably a thousand different ways you can sharpen an axe, and if you have a way that works for you, fine. I'm just kind of showing people that may not know or, or don't really care for their way and want to try something different. This is the way I do it. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, I mean, like you said, Heen, um... This axe is hair shaving sharp, and this is, you know, a $30 cold steel tomahawk. So, you know, uh, does pretty good. So with all that being said, be prepared, both physically and spiritually. God bless, and carry on.